after their arrests, the Reverend Liz Theo Harris, the co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, then led eight other religious leaders up to the steps of the Supreme Court to protest the court's ruling upholding Ohio's controversial voter purge law. We are the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival. So some moral witnesses are coming forward. To, to, to bring our message to the Supreme Court. What do we want? Money. William H. Lamar IV, pastor of Metropolitan African Methodist Episcopal Church in Washington, D.C. Shelley Gupta Barnes, I'm with the National Campaign. I'm Noam Sanois back. I'm with the Cairo Center and the Poor People's Campaign. Minister Rob Stevens at Middle Collegiate Church in New York. Reverend Graylon Hagler, pastor of Plymouth Congregation United Church of Christ, here in front of the Supreme Court, basically to really raise up the questions about the decisions that this body makes, and particularly the body, the decisions that they make in terms of voter suppression, like in Ohio, and the decisions just the other day in terms of uh, really sort of legalizing discrimination against LGBTQ community. We're here in front of the Supreme Court. Nine people are being arrested. We're not talking about the Supreme Court justices of the United States, but nine people of faith who are protesting the decisions of the Supreme Court who are part of the Poor People's Campaign, led by Reverend Liz Theo Harris who, together with Reverend William Barber, is leading the Poor People's Campaign as they get arrested each week, along with hundreds of other people around the country. They're praying right now, and the police have told them that they will be arrested. You're in violation of Title 40. If you do not leave, you will be arrested. Hundreds of people are standing, lining the streets between the Supreme Court and the Capitol, where they just rallied, watching this arrest go down. Thank you, we love you. Everybody's got a right to dream. We'll all go down to jail. Everybody's got a right to dream. The scene in front of the Supreme Court on Monday, as Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris, co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for moral revival, um, Reverend Graylin Hagler and seven others, nine people altogether, were arrested just in front of the court. About a hundred people were arrested that day. They were taken from the Supreme Court to, well, we're joined by Reverend Dr. Liz Theo Harris right now. Uh, she was released from jail last night, which means the nine religious leaders were held more than 24 hours in jail. What happened to you in jail, uh, Reverend Theo Harris? Well, thanks for having us and, and for sharing this story about um, people all across this country, you know, standing up for justice and building this Poor People's Campaign. So we were uh, uh, indeed arrested um, in front of the Supreme Court and— um, uh, and moved around quite a bit over the past 24 hours, but um, uh, we were we were, you know, held at the Supreme Court for for a while, and then moved into um, kind of city holding, and then uh, all this we were, time you were case. you were handcuffed. We, yeah, so we were handcuffed for the first you know five or six hours um, while we were being processed at the Supreme Court, and um, you know I think. Uh, we, we know that there's a, a kind of impoverished democracy um, in this country and that, that poor people of all colors are um, are criminalized. Um, and, uh, uh, and, you know, we see the connections between that um, and, and why we need this campaign and why people, including faith leaders from the Poor People's Campaign, were standing up. Um, for justice um, this past week. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we, were, we were kept for, for many hours, um, handcuffed. Um, we were, you know, put in, into city uh, jails with other lots of poor people who, who suffer the dignities of, of life every day. Um, our, we, were, we were kept at the courthouse for a while and then shifted to a federal court. Um, we had reports uh, that your religious vestments were ripped off of you. Well, so so we had to remove them, and and in fact, um, my stole that says Jesus was a poor man. Um, that this is the um, this um, is the sash you were wearing. Jesus is a poor man. 
That's right. Um, and it's, a, it's, you know, it's a, it's, it's a true, um, you know, statement from uh, the Bible. It's also um, something that during the 1968 Poor People's Campaign, um, the caravans from March, Mississippi had, um, you know, that on there. And so we, we, we wear those, you know, in solidarity with the 68 campaign and with the Bible. Um, and uh, so that was taken um and, and all of our, you know, religious collars and vestments were, were removed. The prayer, Jewish prayer shawls that someone was wearing were, were, were removed. Um, and, uh, um, and and folks got some of them back yesterday. Um, I'm still waiting to, to get the stool back. You were held overnight, cockroaches in your cells? Yeah, I mean, just like lots of poor people uh, experience all across this country every every day, we were we were held, um, you know, with cockroaches, with uh, very little food, um, and um, and when uh, you were brought before you know, the judge, you were put in leg irons. Well, well, so we were shackled actually in leg irons all all, all day, um, you know, which is you know the treatment that that folks get. Um, poor people get um, across this country on a regular basis. And, you know, I think it, it just ties into why we need a poor people's campaign, why we need to stand up um, and declare that we need the rights um, to living wages and to and to Reverend housing. Dr. To Liz Theo Harris, we have to leave it there. Co-chair of the Poor People's Campaign, National Call for Moral Revival, a major uh, rally in Washington on June 23rd. Special thanks to Sam Alkoff, Carla Wills, Chris Belcher, and our news director, Mike Burke. I'm Amy Goodman.